It's been a long wait for France's electric utility, its nuclear sector, and the government. Their hopes finally realized late Tuesday, as the country's nuclear safety watchdog issued this statement. The Nuclear Safety Agency has authorized the entry into service of the EPR reactor at Flamanville. This authorization allows EDF to load the nuclear fuel into the reactor and to proceed with startup tests and commercial operation of the reactor. Launched in 2007 under President Nicolas Sarkozy, the project has seen a litany of setbacks. Cracks in its concrete slabs, faulty welding, anomalies in the steel of the reactor vessel itself. Construction took 12 years longer than planned. The budget, too, far beyond initial projections. Including financing costs, France's accounting authority puts the final bill at 19 billion euros instead of the 3.3 billion first estimated. The EPR is a pressurized system designed for more efficiency and safety than older reactors. Two have entered service in China and one in Finland with another under construction at Hinkley Point in the UK. All have faced significant service delays. French electric utility EDF and the government are counting on Flamanville's inauguration to kickstart their plan for more than a dozen new EPRs around the country, a major pillar of Paris's plans to cut carbon emissions. We must build a Europe based on the free circulation of decarbonized electricity. Whether via renewables or nuclear, it doesn't matter. After testing, the new reactor should be connected to the grid within a few months. It's expected to produce 1.6 gigawatts per hour by year end, making it the most powerful reactor in the country.